kid spills his milk, what do you do? Slap him in the head? What, what, what does that even mean? You are not a tolerant person. Look, you've been under my skin since New York, starting with ripping off my cab. God, you're a tight ass. How would you like a mouthful of teeth? Ooh, and hostile too. Nice personality combination. Hostile and intolerant. You are borderline criminal. Screw you! Who spilled beer on the bed? And you smoke, and you mess up the bathroom. Uh, yeah, well, who let you stay in the room? I even let you pay for it so you wouldn't feel like an intruder, which you most certainly are. Oh, I'm an intruder. Yes, you're an intruder. I was having a perfectly nice trip until you walked into my life. I walked into your life. Tell me, who was that on the plane who talked my ear off? Who was that? I'm curious. Yeah, well, who was it that told you to get a room? I did, out of the goodness of my dumb old heart. Boy, are you an ungrateful jackass. So go ahead, go ahead, sleep down in the lobby. See if I care. I hope you wake up so stiff you can't even move. You're no saint. You got a free cab ride, you got a free room, you even got someone to listen to your dumb stories. I mean, on the plane, didn't you notice? When you started talking, eventually I started to read the vomit bag. Didn't that give you like any sort of clue that, hey, like maybe this girl's not enjoying it? Everything is not an anecdote. You have to discriminate. Choose something that's funny or mildly amusing or interesting. Your stories have none of that. They're not even amusing accidentally. Honey, I'd like you to meet Della Griffith. She's got some amusing anecdotes for ya. I can tolerate any insurance seminar. For days, I can sit there and listen to them go on and on with a big smile on my face. And they ask me, how can you stand it? And I say, because I've been with Della Griffith, I can take anything. And you know what they'll say? They say, I know what you mean. The shower curtain ring girl. And just so you know, when you're telling these little stories, it's always a good idea to have a point. It makes it much more interesting for the listener. <sighs> you want to hurt me? Mm. Go right ahead. If it makes you feel any better, I'm an easy target. And you know you're right. I, I talk too much. I also listen too much. I could be as terrible cynic just like you, but I don't like to hurt people's feelings. So think what you want of me. I'm not changing. I like me. My husband likes me. My customers like me, because I'm the real article. What you see is what you get. <laughs> 